the European social class for atom research at CERN, is revealing nuances of another particle, the smasher. Today, something on different occasions is more vital and two times as basic. It has seen three new particles that could be valuable to us in sorting out how our universe was envisioned and what its future seems to be. Specialists at CERN have recently uncovered divulgences that turn how we decipher the universe on its head. Under the outer layer of their critical tests lies a colossal spread of particles and drives so peculiar, they could be straight far away from expected fragments to alternate points of view, to particles that challenge the actual reason of the real world. What dazzling special privileged insights are secret inside these tests? Might we at some point skip into the universe of CERN and loosen up the pieces of data that could reconsider our universe? The entry to new points of view, a wormhole, could speculatively appear all of a sudden above, and the explanation would be the amazing assessments driven at CERN, home of the monstrous Hadron Collider, LHC. The LHC is the world's most important and strongest particle smasher, found near Geneva, riding the line between Switzerland and France. There are privileged insider secrets about this unconventional association that the world doesn't have some involvement in insider facts that could change how we view material science. In reality, the universe, CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, works this colossal, steady instrument. It reaches out over 27 kilometers and sits significant underground. The goal of the Gigantic Hadron Collider is to grant physicists the ability to test the evaluations of different theories of atom material science. This merges the high-profile assessment of the standard model of particle physical science, which assists us with sorting out the key design blocks of the universe. At its core, the huge Hadron Collider works by accelerating protons to essentially the speed of light before beating them together. These effects produce a shower of new particles, which are studied to procure insights into the regulations of nature. It was through such starters that the Higgs boson, frequently insinuated as the God particle, was viewed as in 2012. This openness certified how particles get mass and was a tremendous moment in atomic material science. The tests driven at the Monster Hadron Collider are critical for sorting out characteristics that occur under ludicrous conditions, essentially vague from those not long after the Big Bang. The data totaled can fill us in more about how the universe started, progressed, and about the vital constituents of matter. This makes the gigantic Hadron Collider a player in potentially revealing new pieces of reality, with focuses that could appear to be okay of insider facts enveloping dark matter and the fundamental powers of nature. Such high-level experimentation at CERN doesn't come without concerns. Some speculate about high-energy tests making dark openings or exotic matter that could introduce threats to Earth. At any rate, CERN ensures that all security measures are met, and trained experts intently monitor these evaluations and studies. Theoretical models verify that any hazardous circumstances are incredibly fantastical. Through its constant assessment and disclosures, CERN helps us sort out the universe better and shows the astonishing cutoff of human headway and joint exertion in pursuing knowledge. The LHC is humanity's ongoing supernatural occurrence. The awe-inspiring Hadron Collider at CERN isn't simply an unfathomable piece of development. It is a miracle of modern science and engineering, facilitated under the Swiss-French border. The gigantic collider goes through a tunnel 27 kilometers in width and is essentially as deep as 175 meters underground. This makes it the greatest molecule collider in the world and one of the fundamental instruments in the field of molecule material science. The advancement of the immense Hadron Collider is expected to manage examinations of important scale. The head ring of the collider, housed in a tunnel with a width of 3.8 m, contains two interacting parallel beam pipes. Each line orchestrates protons in opposite directions, rapidly advancing them with a series of superconducting magnets. These magnets are essential for staying aware of the path of the protons, bending their course at speeds close to that of light. Enveloping the beam pipes are layers of cooling structures that keep a temperature colder than space, required to keep the superconducting magnets at their planned working temperature. The size of the immense Hadron Collider is further included by its use of great many magnets, including 1,232 dipole magnets to wind the beams and 392 quadrupole magnets to concentrate them. The greatest and most powerful superconducting magnets used are 15 meters long and weigh 35 tons each showing the massive scale and creative craving behind the collider. 
the primary control of the Huge Hadron Collider is to investigate the stray pieces of the universe by seeing the tiniest bits of matter. By accelerating particles to essentially the speed of light and subsequently influencing them, the Huge Hadron Collider allows physicists to focus on the resulting particles that are made during these effects. This process helps in testing and extending our understanding of the standard model of atom physical science, which is the ongoing best depiction of the subatomic world. One of the key objectives behind the enormous Hadron Collider's tests is to reveal the insider facts of the Higgs boson, its exposure at CERN in 2012 affirmed theory about how particles acquire mass. The gigantic Hadron Collider also investigates other fundamental particles and forces, hoping to address major inquiries, like the presence of dark matter and the nature of the universe not long after the Big Bang. The gigantic Hadron Collider wants to confirm the presence of new particles that speculative physical science predicts, but has not yet observed. These assessments are key for potentially finding new physical science beyond the standard model, including supersymmetry and points of view beyond the normal three-dimensional perspectives. The vision behind the gigantic Hadron Collider isn't simply to sort out the universe's plan, but to energize global joint effort, with experts from over 100 nations participating. The monstrous Hadron Collider is evidence of overall support in the venture for knowledge. Its design and scale enable it to deal with the most serious requests in material science. Its inspiration stretches beyond mere scientific curiosity, seeking to foster how we unravel the universe and motivate global cooperation in science. Through this monstrous and complex apparatus, humanity continues to expand the limits of what is known and experience into the quantum domain. But how does the gigantic Hadron Collider really work? At the center of CERN's research facilities, the gigantic Hadron Collider fills in as a solid, intensifying focal point into the quantum space, allowing scientists to see and study the fundamental particles that make up everything in the universe. The process of atom speed increase and collision at the gigantic Hadron Collider is a crucial method for testing the underpinnings of material science. Inside the collider, two high-energy atom beams travel at practically the speed of light before they are made to collide. These beams travel inside tubes kept at ultra-high vacuum, mimicking the conditions of space. Superconducting electromagnets chilled to temperatures colder than space help steer and concentrate the beams at designated impact centers along the path. These beams smash into particles with tremendous energy. The impacts produce an assortment of subatomic particles, some of which are incredibly unstable and exist only for fractions of a second. To recognize and investigate the consequences of these effects, the Giant Hadron Collider is equipped with enormous detectors. ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB each designed for specific types of analysis. These detectors capture data about the particles, including their mass, charge, and energy. This information helps physicists test assumptions for particle physical science theories, including the standard model, and analyze particles and forces that govern the universe. One of the primary discoveries at the Huge Hadron Collider was the revelation of the Higgs boson in 2012. This atom, sometimes referred to as the God particle, is significant because it provides evidence for the Higgs field, which is responsible for giving mass to fundamental particles. The presence of the Higgs boson was predicted by the standard model, and its exposure was a groundbreaking achievement, confirming long-held speculative predictions. Beyond the Higgs boson, the gigantic Hadron Collider has also been instrumental in tracking down a range of other particles. For example, the collider has provided proof for the presence of penquarks and confirmed the existence of tetraquarks, particles made of four and five quarks, respectively, particles that had never been observed before. These discoveries broaden our understanding of hadronic matter, which is matter made of quarks bound together by the strong force, the force that holds atomic nuclei intact. These revelations show the power of the standard model and open new avenues of research in particle physics, offering clues into the behavior of matter under extreme conditions, like those shortly after the Big Bang. Theoretical risks, such as strangelets or smaller-than-expected black holes, have been subjects of public interest and continued assessment. Strangelets are a theoretical form of matter that is more stable than normal matter. The theory suggests that strangelets could convert any matter they come into contact with into strange matter. The fear surrounding this theory is that if strangelets were created during particle collisions at the Huge Hadron Collider, they might trigger a catastrophic chain reaction, 
converting all matter on Earth into strange matter. However, wide assessment and safety evaluations conducted by CERN and the global academic community have addressed these concerns. Studies have shown that even if strangelets did exist and were made at the Giant Hadron Collider, they would most likely be very unstable and decay too quickly to cause any significant change to Earth's matter. Additionally, high-energy cosmic rays continually hit the Earth with energy levels far higher than those produced by the Giant Hadron Collider without producing any strangelets. This natural evaluation suggests that strangelets are not a realistic threat. The concern that the gigantic Hadron Collider could create tiny black hole stems from speculation about extra dimensions in physics. Some theoretical models propose that high-energy collisions within the LHC could create small black holes that would evaporate in an instant due to a process called Hawking radiation, named after physicist Stephen Hawking. Scientists agree that if small black holes were ever created at the LHC, they would pose no danger. First, any such black holes would be extremely small and fleeting, vanishing before they could interact with surrounding matter. Second, the energies associated with LHC collisions, while large by human standards, are still far lower than the tremendous cosmic ray collisions that occur naturally. Since no dangerous small-scale black holes have been observed from cosmic ray interactions, it is highly unlikely that the LHC would produce any dangerous outcomes. CERN, along with independent boards, conducts rigorous safety reviews to ensure that the experiments conducted at the LHC pose no risk to humanity or the planet. These reviews combine theoretical assessments, test data, and safety protocols to address any potential hazards. While the LHC's experiments continue to push the boundaries of how we interpret material science, they are conducted with a high degree of responsibility and scientific oversight. This ensures that humanity can benefit from groundbreaking discoveries without facing undue risks. Theoretical gambles often sound more like science fiction than plausible scientific outcomes. The intelligent response, based on thorough evaluation and natural large events, is that the experiments at the Huge Hadron Collider are safe and the potential risks are negligible. One of the most interesting and extraordinary experiments proposed at CERN is the search for magnetic monopoles. A magnetic monopole is a hypothetical particle that is a magnet with only one magnetic pole, either a north pole or a south pole. In contrast, regular magnets normally have both north and south poles. The existence of magnetic monopoles was predicted by physicist Paul Dirac in 1931, who showed that their existence would explain why electric charge is quantized, meaning it comes in specific amounts. Despite their theoretical significance, magnetic monopoles have never been observed at the Giant Hadron Collider. Experts have been looking for evidence of these elusive particles. If magnetic monopoles were ever detected, they would revolutionize our understanding of magnetic fields and could lead to significant advances in technology, including new methods of energy storage and transmission. In addition to the discovery of magnetic monopoles, it would provide experimental evidence for grand unified theories and string theories, which attempt to unify all the fundamental forces of nature into a single framework. While the search for magnetic monopoles may seem esoteric, it embodies the essence of the research and curiosity that drives legitimate inquiry at CERN. The pursuit of such captivating and potentially groundbreaking particles reflects the organization's commitment to exploring the unknown and pushing the boundaries of human knowledge. Another fascinating investigation at the Huge Hadron Collider involves considering the possible existence of particles that could travel faster than the speed of light. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit in the universe. However, some theoretical models suggest that particles called tachyons could exist, which would always move faster than light. Detecting tachyons would challenge our understanding of space-time and causality. While most physicists remain skeptical about the existence of tachyons, the search for such particles at the Giant Hadron Collider shows the institution's openness to exploring even the most speculative corners of theoretical physics. The Giant Hadron Collider also enables scientists to conduct experiments that replicate the conditions of the early universe shortly after the Big Bang. These high-energy collisions create a state of matter known as quark-gluon plasma, which existed only minutes after the Big Bang. By studying this plasma, physicists hope to better understand how the universe transitioned from its fundamental high-energy state into the complex and organized universe we observe today. In summary, these various experiments at CERN 
from searching for magnetic monopoles to creating quark-gluon plasma, highlight the breadth and depth of the serious research conducted at the Giant Hadron Collider. They demonstrate how CERN is pushing the boundaries of what we know about the universe and exploring new areas of physics that were once considered purely speculative. The ultimate goal of the Giant Hadron Collider is to push the edges of human knowledge, unlocking the special insights of the universe by smashing particles at extraordinary energies. It allows researchers to explore the very nature of matter and the forces governing the universe. This incredible journey for understanding mirrors humanity's innate curiosity and our desire to explore the revelations made at the Giant Hadron Collider, which have profound implications for our understanding of the universe and our place within it.